Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today is all about WhatsApp, WhatsApp groups and how to make them as secure as and private as possible. I mean, that's the that's the main idea of this video. To create a WhatsApp group, you need to go to the three dots menu here. In this is Android interface, so you need to go to the three dots menu, and you need to choose create a new group. That's that's the basic uh, for creating a group. When you create a group, you need to add a name. Well, you need to add a user first. That's the, like the first step. The, when you create a group, the first screen you're going to see is you need to add a contact. So you can add yourself or something, but you need to add at least one contact to the group. The second step is a group name, an icon. <clears throat> and from this moment, we can create the group. If we click here, the group is going to be created. The problem is when you check group permissions, by default, everything is enabled. Like uh, if we go to group to the group settings, to group permissions, for example, anyone can edit the group settings and that's very dangerous. Every, anyone can change the group name, the group icon. So that's something you don't want to have by default. That's something you want to uncheck. This button should be unchecked. That means only you, admins, can change group settings. And that's very important. The second thing that is very important is add other members. You don't want that. You don't want anyone to add other members. That's, I think, is important. The third is approve new members. This is more optional. I think it's something more up to you. You can have a message like this person wants to join the group and you will approve or not. That's something you can do. So the, the same, this one, you can have it unchecked or checked. By default is unchecked. That means you don't, you do not approve new members. Anyone can access the group. So that's, but that's something up to you. And finally, admins. Admins is who can, you know, manage the group, you know, reject a user, change the settings, things like that. Sometimes makes sense to make a group where only admins can post. That's something you can do. That's something that, hey, maybe Peter, Mary, and John can create content, but everyone else is just a user. That's something you can do. If not, you can just, you know, disable and that will be okay. So this is very important. When you create a group by default, this and this are like accepted. Like everyone can change settings. Everyone can become a member. So I recommend to uncheck those just to have a more secure group. Once you create a group to access the group permissions, you need to go to the group and here you can find this access. This access will show you this screen. Okay, that's it. That's what you need to do. Finally, now that you know you want to share the group, you want to share the group link, you need to go here, invite via link, and you will have these options in that screen. Link, QR code, um that's it no those are the two options you can see well and well you can you can send this uh, via whatsapp inside the application so that's a, like a shortcut but this you have link and qr code this option to reset the link let's say the group is going crazy there are a lot of users you know joining the group it's hard to manage you can reset the link the link is going to become like a new link so all links share to access this group are going to be disabled. So that's that's this is like a good option if you want to keep the group, but you want to just block all the links that maybe are out there, you know, inviting users to join. So that's those are the options. Groups are, you know, a fantastic tool, but you know, if you are sharing the link and that becomes, you know, viral or you know, the group becomes very popular or something like that. And there is a lot of people joining the group and you want to, you know, reset control for the, for that. You know, go to 
invite and reset okay that will be the option but i think what is more important is you know to not have the default values for settings default value for settings in groups are you know like too insecure you know it's like everything can happen everyone can change anyone can join the group so those are not i think good options i think you need to have a more secure group so that's what we recommend hope this is useful hope you like it and see you soon bye